Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and we're on our next episode of our regular playthrough. As you know, this is my tertiary save, and I'm just going to continue going through without any glitching or duping or any of that nonsense. Uh, we're going to do this plain and clean and straightforward. So here we are. We're going to continue on with our scientific research starting with this mission, and we're going to see if we can't complete out some of the more basic base missions at this point, including getting the base computer completely uh, wiped clean and finish it up. So let's see what our operator entity has to say. Unknown life form, I passed my test. You, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the Convergence, or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them, and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. We, of course, will accept. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We're in. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next spot. So where are we here? get myself out of here let's take a look 16 minutes away I think we will take our ship there it looks like our ship by the way should have landed right next to us but it is literally inside here is that wild or what well that's interesting let's go ahead and take off and see what happens weird okay one of the small glitches that happens in No Man's Sky, I suppose. Alright. So we have a factory building there. How interesting. I don't want to attack any factory buildings yet, because sometimes they're part of missions and you just need to leave them alone. So I suggest you leave them alone until all your main base missions are completed. Including the weapons one. Uh, the weapons guy, he has you going all over the place. Oh, okay, so I need to take a look around. Not seeing anything just yet. It's probably right here, and I'm just not seeing it yet. I know for a fact that building we just passed over is not an observatory. Seems to be something over here. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? I don't... Oh, wait, wait. We got the rotating uh, disc on top of the radar dish on top. This is probably it. Plus, we got some broken machinery and some buried tech. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Sure enough. Okay, good deal. So let's grab some broken tech. Maybe it'll just have nanites, but still, it'll be worth our time. All right, good. And looks like it's over here, so we'll pick that up with the Good old first person method. And let's go inside these pods here and grab whatever they might have. Nanites. Very nice. 50 more. That's always good. This one has nothing. Okay. Alright, let's head over to the building and see what's here. Ooh, there's a Viking in here. Usually a good idea to talk to these fellas. Make sure there's nothing right in the immediate vicinity we can pick up. Let's talk to them. The warrior is young and looks terrified. The terminal screen is full of orders instructing them to head into the forest and join a military campaign against the Sentinels. When they see me, their eyes widen. They proffer their multi-tool towards me with trembling hands. Don't get me started. Post and Viking are all I get out of that one. Their yelps sound pleading. The fear in their movements are more than apparent. They are so on edge that they that they doesn't seem that they do not seem aware of the security cameras that surround us, watching our every move. So should we take it? Or do we refuse it? Now it mentions the security cameras. I've never encountered this particular activity before. So I mean I'm I'm partial to taking it. To be honest, I want to see what he's got. Could be a decent multi-tool, you never know. He makes preparations to abandon the post. Uh, silent cameras record their act of disobedience. My part in their desertion has been noted by the Viking authorities. So I'm going to lose uh, a 
abilities here, so... We'll decline it, but you see my standing decreased. So, I should have rejected it. I was wondering about that, whether I should or not, but I was more curious than anything else. So, yep, bad decision. Data siphon installed accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose, to locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax called the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. Download the data. Okay. So, good deal. So, we got to return to the scientist. Bad decision. I was wondering whether I shouldn't just say, ah, let's just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and reject it, but it is what it is. And back we go. Yeah, that's true. I do have some exosuit upgrade pod uh, charts that I can use. I should have thought of that. We might do them on the way. Alright. Down we go. And let's see what we got going on here now. Alright. Traveler. While you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have answer, so we give the data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Okay, so we got the beacon, the safe beacon that is, and living glass now. The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be, may be of some use. Construct one, and the convergence may find me again. We'll accept, of course. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. Okay, so the living glass is used in several recipes, so it's always a good thing to have. So to build the beacon, we need two metal plates and 15 sodium nitrate. So we'll build two metal plates. We should have enough ferrite. Yep, sure do. One, two, and we got our beacon. Our save beacon, I should say. Use it. There we go. What does the scientist have to say? Is the beacon constructed, Traveler? You can see it. I'm just kidding. Confirm. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research proved fault fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. So now we got an autonomous mining unit and an atmosphere harvester. Okay, good deal. Um, seems like we have to return. Okay, there we go. Those atmosphere harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own convergence? They shall be my children, Traveler. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon, so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do, but, can I, but it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so that I might teach it. Operator entity Rulskoga's plan seems desperate, but it seems... But it does seem to have genuinely made them happier, or at least less anxious about their separation. The Corvax asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence, so we'll accept that. You, thank you, Traveler. Problem is, if I'm not mistaken, we have, I believe, scanned all the creatures on this planet, so we gotta just go to a different planet to do so. Scan four creatures. Okay, there we go, so let's head out. We are going to have to go to a different planet. But first things first, we'll go out here. Yikes, that was close. Alright, let's take a look in here. So we've been here. We've discovered all but one. And we've been, we're obviously here, we've discovered all nine. So we got to go to one of the other three planets or the moon. Okay, so let's take a look at in here and see what we got. Looks like everything might be on the other side of us. Except you. How far away are you? Okay, pretty far out. I am going to go around the other side because I want to see what's out. what else is out here. Oh, we got you, huh? weird how the rings look like they were overlapping the planet we were on. Looks like our pulse engine needs to be updated. Or 
charged. Okay, so that's not gonna... That'll be pretty far. Ooh, that looks like an interesting planet. We haven't done one thing. We haven't scanned the planets. We should really do that. Yeah, that's molten, so we got a hot planet. This one looks like it's cold with a moon nearby. Right? Frostbound, we've already been there. What about the moon? I know we scanned these before, but I don't remember. Paradise moon, huh? Why didn't we create a base there? That's odd, right? Very, very odd. I think I would have rather have created it there, but, you know, who knows? How about you? We didn't scan you, did we? No, we didn't. Salvageable scrap. We got a hazy planet there. Okay, so here is our planet, and it's also paradise. So that's probably why we should really check out the other moon, shan't, shan't we? How about we do that? I know it's pretty far away, but I do want to check it. Because, well, you never know. And it'll be nicer than what I've got. Because you never know, the grass could be greener over there. Considering the planet I'm on is mostly red. I know, terrible joke. Sorry. You deserve better. Boy, this thing eats up pulse fuel. Well, considering the color of this place, I think it might have more, uh... Than we had on the other place. It might be greener. What is it, an orangey-yellow sky? That's interesting. No, it looks prettier than that, actually. Looks very nice. Alright, let's land. Take a quick check, because you never know when there might be some housing or something nearby, or some kind of trading outpost. Oops. Looks like there's something right there. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we got a crashed freighter here, too. Wow, look at all this. Alright, we'll take it in. We might be able to get some good stuff from this freighter. Always look for opportunities, my friend. Alright. Smallest planet, huh? Well, it's a moon, after all. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay. Salvageable data, huh? Interesting. You know what? While we're here, let's just grab the other one. The other outside piece. Should be right about here. Yep, there we go. You're not getting this? Got it. Okay. Oh, units out of that one. That's good. Nice. Good amount of units. Let's do more outside. One down here. There it is. One. Cool. Polyfiber. Always useful. And here's number two. Salvage frigate module. Those are always good. All right. Just need to open these up. Just making an exit. Quantum accelerator. Interesting. How much are those worth? Not bad. 250,000. We're going to hang on to the salvage frigate module because that will come in handy if and when we get a frigate. All right. We got some polyfiber, so that's actually worth some money, but we're probably going to hang on to that. Got a pretty decent amount of money, but we do want to get ourselves a, a, what do you call it, ship sooner or later. Is this for geology cannon? 
plasma launcher. Yeah. I don't really particularly care for those. And we got some items that we picked up during our uh, anomaly mission over the weekend. So that was good. All right. So we got some stuff from here. So let's take a look around. We need to find some animals, right? So let's get away from the freighter because I don't like to really show up right next to a freighter for the most part. And all kinds of unknown buildings everywhere. So we're going to check them out while we're here. See plants. Is that another unknown building? Sure is. Why am I not finding any animals? That's kind of weird, right? Anybody else, anybody else find that weird? I found it. Uh, that one's got a sentinel next to it, so that usually means that that's a depot. Sack venom. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. Okay, the imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by the strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out into the, in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of her commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and, belie and the belief of the ancients. So we could get more language, but I always seek knowledge of the past because, you know, basically I'm looking for stuff. So let's see what we can get. Historical data. Very good. All right. Good deal. Then we'll take a fly over there before we leave the planet. All right. I see some damaged machinery up here. I'm going to check it out. Wipe the poop off of it first. All right. Just some nanites. The hydrogen. Get my health to maximum. Let's grab some more of this stuff. Nothing found. And a gek relic. All right. So far, so good. I guess we'll head back to the ship. I believe we don't have any animals around here. This is really weird. Let's check, shall we? Looks like there's only three on the entire planet, and they're all flying creatures. That is the strangest thing I think I've ever encountered on a paradise planet, not having any animals. We just want to look up. We will try to check out this planet then. That's probably what we're going to do. We're going to go to another planet and check it out. Very, very strange. Unknown building over there. I think I know what that is. We will probably take a little ride over there. Will traders drop in while we're here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Go to the other building. It had a landing pad of its own, so we'll take a look at it. Quick. There we go. Again, broken machinery and some more items we can pick up on the way. We'll see if that Viking that's in this facility will give us something better. Sorry, had to check a message. Should have paused. It's okay. We'll be alright. More salvage data. This should have nanites. And the other capsule usually has nothing, but no harm in taking a peek. Nothing. Good. Let's check out the innards of this place and see what it has. Entrance is probably on the other side. Here it is. And there's a Viking. Let's check him out. Nostrils flare in hope and expectation. They show me their personal data pad, revealing a set of highly detailed military plans. Interloper Viking alle allegiance. Something pathetic. 
Uh, on one side of the battlefield stands the creature's own warrior race. On the other side, on the other robotic sentinels. The warrior demands that I point to one side or the other. Oh, obviously the warriors. Nodding enthusiastically. There we go. They mark our new friendship by handing me tribute. Ah, oh, mining beam module. That's kind of nice. It's a B class. It's not terrible. Um, I'm not going to do the observatory because it tends to just find freighters. And I don't really care for those as much. If I find one on the ground like I just did, you know, I'll do it then. But All right. Anything else around here before I get my gone? Okay, nope, I don't see anything. So, I don't see any of the birds flying around, which is really, really weird. So why don't we head up to the other planet over there, check it out. Now, we've already been to that one, right? Yeah, we've already been there. And that's the planet we came from. There's that dust ball over there. And we got one more over... See, that's where we just came from. There it is. That's the planet. Molten. Hopefully it has some land. That would be good. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, we got land. Brilliant. Let's get out of first person. I'd like to park a little closer to the water over here. Just, I don't know. Just a hunch. Because if there's any, uh, you know, swimming animals, I want to be able to get them in the ocean as well. Oof. Lazy, aren't we? A couple of volcanoes. Very nice. I will do a quick scan because, well, you never know, right? Isn't that a factory? Do I really want to mess with some sentinels right now? Not really in the mood. Let's check out over here near the volcano. That looks like just a campsite. Maybe a trade ball is there. Always want to try to find something. But we'll stick closer to the water if we can. No oh, pillow. What's that? Ah, crashed freighter, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to skip it this time. Normally, I have no problem with that. And we didn't get have to go after that treasure while we were at it, did we? I thought I saw something down there, so I thought I'd pause and take a look. Just a campsite. That's a beacon. I am going to keep scanning because I do want to find like a landing pad to save some of the the thruster fuel. You never know when you might even find a crashed ship. That would be pretty cool now, wouldn't it? Yeah, the ones that are on those islands out there, they don't usually have anything. No? Okay. Okay, what do we got over there? As long as we didn't come full circle, I guess, right? Abandoned. Whispering eggs is what we look at there. Yep. Fugitive starships, of course.
All right, this just looks like another. Huh. All right. <clears throat> That's another site that is uh, abandoned. What do we got over here? Another beacon. Looks like maybe a trade ball that was down there. What over here? Well, it's a drop pod. I think I'll take it for now. We will be using a little bit of our launch thruster juice, but that's okay. Now that we're here, we found this planet. It's gonna be hot here. <clears throat> okay. Some more navigation data. I always like to collect some more of that. And we do need a antimatter capsule and a nanotube. There we go. Okay. All right. So we got this filled up over here. I'm going to start working on more cargo space. So once we get another line here done, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't complete this out. All right. Where to? Take a look around, and we need to start finding... Well, that. So that's our first one. There's two. Looks like a lot of flying creatures on this planet. There's three. Okay, that's what those creatures were. Three of five, it says. So we got just a few more floating around here somewhere. I'm also looking for buildings while I'm at it. All right, let's head up to the ridge. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Just need one more. How about we check the water? What makes me think that there's no more that there's any more flying creatures if there's only two left? Am I right? Will it still be hot? It is not. Fascinating. Okay. Swimming, swimming creatures. Where are you? There's one. And there's two. And that's all five creatures on this planet. Another 1250 in nanites. Awesomeness. We should get the alert here in just a second, indicating that we just got our seventh planet. Alright. Good deal. I guess we head back to our ship. That should be enough. There it is. Journey milestone. Told you it was coming. An archivist. Could call the ship in, but we're really not that far away. I got a pretty decent jetpack. There we go. Then we're back. Good deal. So let's go after that uh, treasure real quick before we head back home. What do you say? Ouch. Right there. Wish we would have done that before. We wouldn't have wasted so much of our pulse drive fuel. All right. 
So let's see what we find. Hmm, got a few things nearby. Let's go ahead and land here, though. It'd be great if we could find the three three places that the three creatures that lived here. See, we're going to head over there in just a little bit. All right, let's head in. Wrong button. Terrain manipulator is what we want. So I'll make sure they don't land, because landing means I might be able to get some more stuff. There's one of the flying creatures. Look at that. Which are mountable, by the way. Fascinating. Anybody else? No? All right. Second one. Oh, a little too far. And that's not it. How did I misjudge that one? Three. There you are. Large artifact crate. One, two, three. What do we get? Hopefully something good. Ooh, 2,000 years old. That's good. That's really good. Not bad. M worth a million units. Take it. Alright, let's see what is in store for us over here. It looked like just another... Possibly a... Not a knowledge stone. Monolith. Ooh, monoliths are worth it. Let's check it out, shall we? And again, we'll keep, keep an eye on the heavens here, just to see if there's any more creatures that'll come fluttering by. There's one. Good deal. You guys interested in landing? No? Looks like I got another one? Nope. That's the same one. So we only have one more creature left. I'm going to take a close look around, just in case. Now that they're all suddenly deciding to appear, now that I've landed a second time at this planet. Yeah, not seeing much. Okay. Alright, let's head over to the, to the monolith. Maybe we'll get something special out of it. And those are the same guys I spotted last time. Yes, they are. See, we can feed them and we can get them get one as a pet if we want. Not bad. Alright. So, first things I'm going to do. Now, there's other knowledge stones and I could just do that. Anytime I pass some knowledge stones. But while I'm here, I always grab these three because... Okay, another quick look around love to get the third one on this planet if I could, but I'm not seeing it. Okay. Here we are. As I look upon the ancient relic, a strange feeling grips hold of me. My vision begins to swim. I'm here, but not here. Something given, Viking, given ice, Viking. I feel a strange chill. A layer of frozen gas suddenly coats the monolith from bottom to top. It's so cold that I can see my breath inside my helmet. There's one small gap in the crystal ice, and I feel like and I feel convinced that I could feed some of my mind elements through it so they can come into contact with the monolith bullet behind. Oh boy. Catalytic, metallic, or organic. I think it was catalytic is what we want to do. Nope. It's the one I always mess up. Alright, well, let's head back. Mess that one up. That's all we can do. I'm not going to cheat. not going to reload. So we'll just go ahead and uh, head back to the ship from here. Ouch. Gosh darn it. Hit my ankles.
All right. Oh, any more flying creatures besides those guys? Gravitino. No, we don't want any gravitino. Birds? No. No, wrong birds. I see nothing. It figures. Really like to get that third bird if I can. Kind of stinks. All right. Well, I guess what we're going to do is head back to our base and we'll turn in our rise. All right. All right. Let's see. Our place is there. Okay. Locked in and we're going to head straight there now. All right. So we got ourselves some good money stuff to sell. So that's good. Again, I'm going to be looking for a dissonant planet when I once I get all this stuff taken care of, a dissonant system. So we can get ourselves a nice sentinel ship, I think. Um, or should I go naturally at that? Probably naturally. Let's see what happens with this. Wow, look at the pulse drive. It's just sucking up fuel like crazy. I've even got these guys. Yeah, but none of them... Uh, see, it's got 6% fuel efficiency. I wish I had better. All right. Maybe I'll work on that next. I'll try to get some nice uh, upgrades for that. And in we come. All right. See if we can land at the landing pad this time. We'll head in. Um, did it change? Yeah, it did. There we go. I don't know why it did that. That's weird. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Do you have the data, Traveler? My child cannot see the world as you see it. To share your scans will be to share your consciousness with them. It is a tremendous gift. So we'll hand it in. You, what sights? By way of thanks, my child has prepared you a blueprint. They have learned how to make unstable gel. They hope it makes you happy. Um, okay. That's kind of weird, but yeah, got it. Traveler, this data has raised a concern. As a beacon, my child could receive signals from unknown sources all across the galaxy. I will be unable to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek or the harsh scans of the Sentinels. If you find ion batteries, I will prepare polyfiber blueprints, and we shall weave them a protective cloak. Okay. Do not delay, Traveler. Their young mind is very impressionable. Okay. So I think we've got batteries on us still. We do. Okay, let's wait. We just got to wait for the mission to catch up. See? There we go. Have you found the ion batteries, Traveler? The Corvax looks anxious. Their disconnection from convergence and their anxiety for their child is taking its toll. Perhaps the batteries will help them settle. So we'll give the ion batteries. All right. Thank you, Traveler. It is good we can protect the little beacon, but I fear it may not be enough. You should take a copy of the polyfiber plants. They may be of some, they may be of some use to you. Now, please, give me some time to educate my child. Okay, so there's our polyfiber plans. All right, and it looks like it's going to take about an hour and a half in real time for them to instruct their beacon child. Okay, then. So what do we do in the meantime? Let's check our data here. We're expanding our base still. Let's check to see if computer archives will be of use to us yet. Encrypted and pass key, so we're going to choose another word. Just choosing every death. Death unlocked it this time. 82%. Uh, let's go to the archives first. Thought I had hours to... But the daylight is already fading. The sun is slipping. Bzz. Light barely penetrates the thick rings, looping endless around this. Bzz. I need to hurry. Additional data unavailable. 
but they do have construction logs. Let's check that. Exosuit technology data extracted, downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning de defragmentation of next segment. So we'll leave. And we get a shield module is what we get. Let's check it out real quick. So the mining beam module, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to install it and then uninstall it because we can get stuff from that. Let me show you. That's probably the best thing we can do. We can install it in here, but it's going to come into conflict with these. So let's see what we got. Minus 12 plus 18 heat plus 16 heat plus 7 mining. And then this one has plus 17 and plus 6. This one has everything. So 17 heat, 6 mining speed. 16 heat, 7 mining speed. So... You know, within one of each other, if you will. And minus 12 overheat downtime and plus 18 heat dispersion. So... I think I like the mining speed better. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay? So by getting rid of it, we should get... There we go. Wiring loom. That's what I was hoping for. And this one is... a shield for us, which I think we can put pretty much anywhere. And what does it give us? 33 core health. Well, you know what? That might actually be worth it then. I'll hang on to that for a while. And we got other things in our inventory. Let's go ahead and put them in our storage container while I'm thinking of it. So polyfiber, pearls. Uh, how are we doing on Gek Relics? We already got two, one in there. So let's sell these. Um, we'll put the frigate fuel in there. Cytoplasma, the heatle cores, and the crystal sulfide. This we're going to sell too, so that gives us a lot more money. All right, good. Oh, and the frigate module, of course. All right, that should do it there. All right. And anything else? Let's see. Instruct a roamer geo bay. Okay, well, we can do that. Do we have the plan for it? Yeah, we do. All right, what does it require? Five metal plates and 50 paraffinium. Uh, let's see if we have the paraffinium. I think we do. We do. Here. And we need five metal plates, right? So we'll make those. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll get ourselves a roamer. Excellent. So we'll put that right over... Let's put it right over here. Whoops. I didn't mean to launch one of those, I promise. So, love the roamers. Those are pretty good vehicles. But you know my favorite's the Pilgrim. Okay. Whoop. Nothing else. Let me see here. Hold on. Alright, we need three more alien words in order to be able to get to the next level of that. So let's go back to explore... Uh, expanding the base, we've got to return to the Overseer. And we'll complete some more of this. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Interesting. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The Overseer asked me to for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientists should be able to assist with the task, so we'll go ahead and accept. Navigator Royant has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. All right. Do we have any on us? Let's see. We do not. How many do they want? Two. Okay. We can get some in there, but let me just check my... Uh, storage container. I just want to make sure I didn't have any already. Yeah, we got a bunch. There we go. Alright, we got them. That was quick. Let's return. I trust our new Corbax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you already? Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asked for the microprocessors so they can finish the plans. So I'll give them you have done so well, friend. I'm so very happy. All right, so this is our weapons terminal. We need 25 Pugnium, though, in order to build it. Now, 
Imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, you reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So it is with the Sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The Overseer requires me to kill Sentinels and bring back their puppy. Okay. Sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. All right, let me just check, make sure I don't have the Pugnium. I don't think we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yes, we do. We need 25. I'll, I'll bring them 50. Okay, let's go ahead and build it. Let's see, is it over here? No. Not there, not there. Here? There we go. So there's our weapons terminal. So now we can build it. So weapons terminal I'm going to put back here. There we go. So we got that built. Back to the Overseer. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium. The Overseer is something of, is in something of a state of excitement. Ask me for the pugnium. We can't give it because apparently we need more. Oh, why do you permit the Sentinels to roam free while I, your friend, sit here starving? How much did it need? I didn't catch that. I should have grabbed it before. Anyone when it should tell me. Anytime now. Anytime. Alright, you're taking too long. I guess we need more. Let's just take a bunch more. It's not telling us how much we need. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, stop waving them right here. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium? We give them the pugnium. Navigator Voint presents me with a reward as I knew they would. Oh, the hazmat gauntlet. Cool. Friend, there's another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armor before we can proceed. The Overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal, which we've done, and recruit a Viking armorer for my base. Splendid! I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Alright. So that's our next thing. We did get the... Yes, we did. We don't have... Oh, that's the ship. Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't think we got it yet. So let's go ahead and put our hazmat gauntlet in here. And we're definitely going to put it in because it's very handy. Excellent. Okay, we're in good shape now. So we need to get the Viking armor. We hit the need to hit exchange to active. There we go. Where to? Space station? Different system? What do you want? Our staff from base stations. Space stations. That's what I meant to say. There he is. Off planet. So he's at the... Hmm, I ended up on the wing. Uh, he's at the space station. Let's go ahead and head up there. We could just take the teleporter, but I'm going to fly. Little too low to hit the pulse drive. And let's recharge our pulse engine. There we go. And here's our space station. Crazy looking space station. I love this place. Alright, potential, potential armorer recruit. Now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and sell off some stuff. Make a little extra cash. Oh, another pirate out there, eh? Seems to be a lot more of them lately. I don't know. I had someone tell me that there was uh, less and less, but I have a funny feeling it had to do with the combat state status of the system they were in. Could be me. Alright, so we're going to sell. There. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a boost on that. That's good. All right, we'll sell the two Gek Relics, the Quantum Accelerator, which we're taking a hit on, but that's okay. We got it for free. And, oh, we have the upgrade, right. Now, the upgrade, I was told we can sell. So, 
Is it up here, maybe? Alright. Donate. We don't have anything we can donate at this time. That's weird. Salvage data? We may not be a high enough... Uh, yeah, we're not a high enough rank to do anything with them. Alright. Here's the guy. Enemy Slayer. Zam Yang. I kind of like the name. Let's go with it. Your Gek servant told me you were coming into Loker. It is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds my, even my own. Gra. We shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. A great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite Gra Gra. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien. Too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. While when they smile at me and tell me it is an honor for us to meet, I believe them. Enemy Slayer Zamyang promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. We're going to accept him. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest. But tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? Yes, yes you do. Get an Uber. Carrying on. All right, so we're done here. Did we check out this, the multi-tools here? Hmm. Is it anything like the one I've got? Ugh. Yeah, not even worth looking at. What about you? Still the same thing. Though you have a supercharged slot, I've got a better multi-tool than both of them. Nice. Kind of cool looking. I kind of like it. Anyway. So what do you got? You I got exosuit research. Let's see what he has. Maybe oh that's right. We could sell something to him, right? So let's sell the plasma thing for 335. That's very good. And what else can we get? We got life support, toxic, radiation, movement. We get a movement module, that will be pretty good. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a movement module. And what protections do we need? Let's take a look real quick, shall we? Uh, let's see. We've got cold, radiation, and toxic. All right. Cold, radiation, and toxic. So, let's see. So, we got radiation and toxic. Okay. We do need hot. And the only A classes are our shield and cold. We do have a B class hot and one life support module. All right. So I may hold off on it because we don't really, really need it. If it wasn't at least an A class, I'm not going to get it. All right. Let's go to the multi tool real quick and check things out. Let's put this in here. Uh, by the way, probably going to be... Oh, it is a boost. Excellent. Nice. 219, huh? Let's see what comparison on this. 228. Okay, so this one's still better. 207. All right. Get the translator unit out of the way. Let's do a little adjusting here, shall we? All right, that should do it. Boost it all together. I really need to start upgrading this, it looks like. Getting some more room in there. All right. Um, Multi-tool, we said. Okay, so this is upgraded pretty far. I could use another upgrade for the bolt caster. Mining laser doesn't really need much. What do you got for me, sir? Hmm. Neutron cannon module, how interesting. Scanner, scatter blaster, bolt caster, S class. Yes. We'll take that. And an A class bolt caster. Okay, well, this is good for now. Let's put the one in. And damage is up to 4028. Let's see what happens if we do this. Interesting. 
plus one damage, plus seven fire rate. You know what this doesn't have? This doesn't have fire rate. That's what it is. 40-28. 40-44. That's interesting. 40-44 again. Always got to look, move things around and see if you can get a better deal out of it. Nope, doesn't look like it makes any difference. Okay, so we'll leave it there for now. Alright, so we got a little more damage out of it. That'll be coming handy later on. Alright, so do we need anything else while we're here? That is Starship upgrades. We know we need our pulse engine upgraded. So let me see if he has any pulse engine upgrades. What do we got? Reactors, pulse engine C... Pulse Engine A, that's pretty good. Do we have an S-Class one? Hyperdrive. Photon Cannon. Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll grab the A-Class Pulse Engine module. Let's see how much room do we have in there. We don't have a lot of room, so we're going to have to be careful with this. So the Pulse Engine is all lined up over here, and we're running out of room. Photon cannon is already in place in a, in a supercharged slot. So let's see if we can move some stuff around. Okay. So that's number one. And the only supercharged slot we have is up here, right? Yep, yeah, that was it. Oh, and this one over here. Okay. So what we'll do... Put you over here. What's our hyperdrive? 861? 863, so that actually helped. Okay, in the pulse drive, we will put... Okay. So the pulse drive, we will put right down here. Increased our maneuverability quite a bit. And efficiency, very good, 17%. That's really what we needed. Almost tempted on putting it into the slot there. That might be a better idea. Let's do that. So, what was it at? Hold on. 662? Okay. Nice. Okay, 709. That really gives us a boost. Plus, our efficiency gone up to 34%. So, that's good. And what's our damage at? 3361. 4198. Okay, so that did increase that too. And we're out of slots up here, so we're going to have to look into either getting a new ship. Oh, you notice we have 35 of these. I found a vendor that sold them by quite a bit, so this is going to be very handy. Um, but anyway, we are going to be able to upgrade this or find ourselves a new ship. So we'll look into that later. All right, so we're done here, I believe. I don't think there's anything else really to look into. Um, that's Exocraft. I'm not really worried about that just yet. Neat little ship there. Little snub nose. Alright. So let's head back to our base. See how our pulse drive does. There we go. So the pulse drive. 97. 96. Good. It's taking a lot longer to burn through. Excellent. So that seemed to have been the best way to go. Pretty planet this is. Red sky. Very interesting. Blue oceans, though. That was kind of nice. Nice terrain. All right. And we're going to meet our Viking Armorer friend. We're not going to do any of his missions just yet. Okay, I'm not worried about Righteous Thief Goza unless he attacks us. Okay, let's meet him. He'll send us on a mission, but we're going to go ahead and meet him first. These facilities are glorious, but know that we Viking exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I am your friend, Grahahaha. Violence must be ended. This is the way of Drindarg. This is the way of Herc. 
When murder is gone, the last weapon fire will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. As a gesture of peace, the armor offers me a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Except the gift, of course. Gra, wear it with pride. Now, before we can begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. My keen high command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose at Diloper. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. While you are there, perhaps you may also learn something useful for yourself. I learned that the Vikim believe that no other species should be able to hold weapons, that after the atrocities committed by the Gek, only the Vikim should be trusted with arms. The armor gives me the location of a nearby weapons facility, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract a valuable blueprint. We'll accept, of course. Gra, go with honor, but be wary. The Eye of the Sentinels will be upon the facility. Okay, and he gave us some underwater protection module, which is actually really handy. I'm running out of room in my exosuit, but I am going to go ahead and install this because of all the times we've been underwater. So we definitely need to look into upgrading our suit soon. All right, well, good deal. And I'm actually going to call it here. I'm going to spend a little time upgrading my suit. We jump in and out of my ship to get a save point. And we're going to return here in the next episode and go after the Sentinels. We're going to do some Sentinel stuff, a little bit of the, of the Scientist stuff as well. But we'll get the Sentinels taken care of as well and get a little, to some nice little battles while we're at it. So it should be a more exciting episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe if you like what you've been seeing. If you really liked what you're seeing, feel free to join the channel as well. Thank you very much, folks. And we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.